Hi guys, my name is Tanya and we're going to draw this really sweet fantasy airship surrounded by these bubbly clouds in Affinity Designer. I also really like to create wallpapers for a phone using my illustrations, so I'll show you how to do that as well. As always, it is welcome to use your own ideas, your own colors, different cloud style. For example, you can draw clouds in Procreate and export it to Affinity if you like, more natural artistic look. As centered object, we can create this fantasy airship, but this is pretty basic idea. What do you think we should draw in center? Write down your most creative thoughts in comments below. What do you think will fit best in here? Maybe an air balloon? <laughs> yeah, that that's very original. Okay, how about vintage air balloon? No? A whale? A bird? A plane? Anyway, creativity is endless in here. If you just want to stick to this tutorial step by step, I have created detailed sketch to follow. There is even numbered ellipses so you know what should be drawn first and what is last, so it will be fast and easy process. I also have this file with color samples, it has some explanation to each color, all of those things can be downloaded in description to this video, so let's get started. I'll create new document with size 2000 pixels. I'll have my color palette next to it. Let's start by drawing ellipses by number. Sorry for a messy sketch, but I hope you'll be able to see these numbers. We need numbers for the lowered structure of the bubbly clouds. And also, it will save a lot of time actually. For now, it can be some red outlines, so it will be easier to see what we are drawing. We will change the colors later. Some ellipses should be merged into one shape. Just select ellipses and click on Add to create one solid shape. Some of them, like number 10, is just a copy. Once you've done, we will add lawyer effect to the clouds. Now, I'll have to warn you, as it turns out, Affinity is not very well working when there is a lot of effects applied, but this illustration requires these effects and I've experienced several crashes, so if you're running on slow machine, I'd recommend you maybe skip the next step with the clouds and do it in the very end, or you can proceed, but be sure to turn off the groups afterwards so it will not affect your performance, because computers have a hard time rendering tons of effects at once. And most important, save your work very often. Anyway, we are selecting all the ellipses and change the color from the palette. And now we do the following. Make sure everything is selected, then go to the Effect tab. Turn on Bevel Emboss, then go to the Preferences, select Type Inner, the rest of the settings from the video, and change color from the palette. With this effect we are adding light from the imaginary sun from somewhere under the clouds. Afterwards, I'll also add inner shadow to simulate reflective light from the sky above. Once you've done, it should look like something like this. So I'll add some shadows. To do that, select shadow color from the palette and draw a circle in front of the cloud number one. Turn on blur from the effects tab, set blending mode to multiply and make gradient transparency with the transparency tool. It looks like a little wine glass. I'm copying this thing and move it around in several places between lawyers.
Now remember, these three things, blur, blending mode and transparency tool, will be used a lot, combined or separately, you can remember that as a main technique in this illustration. Once we've done with the clouds, I'd recommend to group each cloud separately and turn it off, just for now. Next thing I'm going to do is start with a balloon. Using colors from the palette, draw a balloon and enter the mask mode. And we will create first shadow. Then go second shadow and the highlight. Again, I'm using same tools, blur, blending mode and transparency tool. draw some weird thin transparent lines. Everything I draw on this balloon is masked inside balloon shape. I'm adding some reflective light from the so-called sun and blue light on the top, again using the same techniques, blur and transparency tools. Then we proceed with the boat, again, using colors from the palette, draw a boat shape, enter the mask mode and draw additional lines. There is also mask within the mask, which is also possible here in Affinity. Next we draw simple strokes to simulate the planks, I'll add some blurry shadows and highlights. Then we will complete this object by drawing the cabin and the steering wheel. In the end we'll add some more strings and don't forget to group all this object as single piece. If you come this far, I'll congratulate you, so as far as the hardest things are completed. In next steps, I'll just merge several ellipses, play with transparency tool, copy and move it around, change the color to simulate clouds in the far, far away. We can also add some more clouds on the top, which is optional. Mm -hmm. 
As the final step to this illustration, now when everything is done, we can play with Cloud Gradient. Just select the group with Cloud and add Gradient to it. To create a wallpaper for this illustration, copy your illustration, create new file. If you are an iPhone or Nexus user, you will find Preset in Devices tab. Move your illustration to the artboard and adjust the composition. You can copy and reflect the clouds so it wasn't very obvious that it's the same clouds. Play around with the colors and transparency. You can also add personal touches to it, like adding your name to the balloon or the ribbon. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the like button and subscribe for more illustration videos, comment down below if you have any questions, thanks once again and bye bye!